In today's project, we'll see how we add a scan location to this work center from Xerox uh, 7800 series, but these settings can be done to multiple uh, work center producers. Uh, in this example, we'll see what exactly we want to achieve. Uh, we see here we have the main screen, the main menu of the work center, and we have the, uh, here this button that says scan to. Uh, the menu it's in a different language but when you press the scan to button you see we have an, an address book that we can uh, scan from the work center and send the files directly to those those for the moment four computers so in this tutorial we'll add a new computer to that address book to understand how can we do that so the first step will be to create a Windows user on the computer that we want to receive the scanned files. In order to do that, we'll have to have administrator privileges and then we'll go to this computer, right click on it and then we go to manage. Once the manage menu will appear, we'll see something called local users and groups when we are going to click on the arrow and then click on users inside the user screen right click and then new user and here we'll name our new user as scan because it's actually what what is going to do is going to receive scans and then we set a new password and then we'll have to to click and choose those two option user cannot change password and password never expires and then we create the user after the button create is pressed we see the new user here called scan and you have to access the properties and we'll have to make him a member of administrators so if you are if we are going to type administrators in here and check the username we'll see that the name of the computer uh, it goes in front of administrators and then if you pr if we press ok we are adding that user to the administrator group and then uh, once that we finished with that, we'll have to create a new folder. Uh, this folder we are going to to use it that the the work center will receive all the the files. So on the same computer, we'll have to create a new folder. Uh, we are going to name the folder as Xerox Scan. This is just an example. You can name your folder as whatever you want. You can put the folder wherever you want just remember the name because it's important when we're when are going to do the final the final setup inside the xerox scanner uh, menu now we have to go to properties right click on the folder properties and we're going to share the folder because the work center will access the folder to send the scanned files so we're going to sharing advanced sharing uh, tick this checkbox share this folder and then we are going to to go to permissions and in here we have to add new permissions to this user the scan user and check the name we will see the name of the computer in front of the user and then we are going to to check these boxes to allow full control of the user to this uh, folder apply ok and then we are going to security tab in here we are uh, editing the security for the the user um, again type the name of the user check the the user you will see the computer in front of the user ok and then we are going to allow again full control al although modify it's all we need for this this to work apply ok and uh, close this is it regarding the computer now we'll have to access the main menu of the work center if the computer and the work center are in the same network, we'll have to go in a browser with the IP address of the work center. In order to get it, you will have to go to this tab, Informations, so it's Settings, Information, and here you can see IPv4 uh, address. This is the IP address that uh, we're going to use to access the, the menu, the internal menu of the work center. This is how you get the, the address if you don't know it. Uh, so we are going to type in a browser the IP that we saw on the work center. And then as you can see, we can access the, the menu. 
Of course, this will work if both the computer and the work center will be in the same network. Now we will have to add a new contact in the address book. So we see here a tab called address book. If we, if we go going to press on it, we will have to, to insert some credentials. If the software, the menu was not edited in any way, the you know normal ones that uh, the work center came with the I, the user id it's admin and then the password it's one 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 then you press login and it goes inside of course those user and password can be changed if someone changed it you'll need to find them out in here you can see the four contacts that we, we already saw in the work center menu we already added before and now we we'll press the add button and we are going to add a new contact in here we we'll see the red star uh, you know things that we have to put in that those are mandatory the other ones we can skip them we can put a display name that will show in our address book in our case is Bianca and then we are going to to type uh, well it should should be in sales department of course sales it's it's mis mistyped it should be only one l never mind and then in here we'll have to put the ip address of the computer so we have to go to command prompt and get the ip of the computer so if you type run and then uh, cmd you will have to command prompt and in here you can type ip config press enter and uh, again you will find here ipv ipv4 address and this is the ip of the computer in this case in this example yours will be different of course so we're going to type in here the exact ip that we found in that screen the last protocol 445 should be the same and also the smb protocol should be selected then we'll have to type in the share folder that we already set it up you remember the folder that we created on the computer and we gave all the privileges security and sharing privileges we type it in there and then in here we are typing the login name that is scan is the username that we, we created on the computer scan and then of course we have to type in uh, the the password and retype the, the password for con confirmation so we have to remember all those things and we have to to put them exactly as we said them you can see i i inserted the names exactly as as i i, I saved them so now all we, all we have to do is press the save button we see now that we have a fifth contact that's called bianca and if we're going to go in the xerox work center and put two files and try to scan those files and send them to the new contact we pressing the scan to button from the address book we'll see that bianca shows up now in the address book add to destination it's added to destination and now green button and we are going to wait that the scanning has no errors and done we see a green check mark that's a good sign so we have no errors now we can go back to the folder on the computer open the folder and inside that folder we should have a pdf file containing all the documents that we inserted in the work centers tray the work center scan them and send them to this location to the location that we created inside the folder that we created as you can see everything is fine so our project is done hopefully all the info will will be helpful until next time all the best and see you soon